Have you ever wondered how to curve text in Affinity Designer? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andrei Marius and in this same Battletas Plus tutorial I will show you how to add text on a path in Affinity Designer. We'll use this simple batch design to exemplify all the techniques that you can use to stylize a curved text in Affinity Designer. For this tutorial you'll need these two fonts from Envato Elements, so make sure to check out Envato Elements where with a simple subscription you can get unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets such as music, graphics, photos, fonts and many more. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. First of all you will need a shape on which you can add the text. For this example we'll use a circle, but keep in mind that you can add text on any type of shape or path. This being said, let's select the ellipse tool and just click and drag to create a 250 pixel circle. Remember to hold down the shift key as you click and drag to easily create a perfect circle. To move it in the center of the canvas, click this alignment button from the context toolbar and check the Align Center and Align Middle buttons. Make sure that your circle remains selected as you want to add text on this path. Select the Artistic Text tool and hover your cursor on the edge of the selected path. When your cursor icon changes, you can click and type in the text. Keep the cursor slightly outside the path if you wish to add the text on the outside of the path or move it inside the path whenever you wish to add the text inside that path. For this example, we'll add it on the outside, so let's click and type in superior quality. Using these two handles, you can adjust the position of your text on the path. The green one indicates the starting point of the text, while the orange one indicates the ending point of the text. Let's drag the green one and make it snap to this point and for the orange one let's make it snap to this point. Now because the text alignment is set to left, your text starts exactly from this green handle. To move it in the center at an equal distance between this green and orange handle, all you have to do is set the text alignment to center. In some cases, you might want to move your text from one side of the path to the other. To easily make this change, just click this reverse text path button from the context toolbar. We don't want that for this example, so let's click it again to move the text back on the outside of the path. Now that your text is aligned, let's stylize it. In order to make these sort of changes, first you need to select your text. Double click it when you need to select just one word or triple click when you need to select more than one word. Having the text selected, focus on the character panel which can be opened by going to view, studio and character and for the beginning select the recent font from Envato Elements. Set the size to 55 points, click this font color wheel and replace the existing color with 58. 69 and 91 and then move to the positioning and transform section to increase the tracking to 100%. Let's increase the opacity for this text to 100% and now click at the end of it. Simply press enter which will add a second text section but this time on the inside of this same circle. Let's type in made in Germany. And as you can see, this also added another set of handles that can be used to adjust the position for this new text. Even though we added this text on the inside of the pad, it is pretty obvious that we don't want to keep it like this. To move it on the outside of the pad, all you have to do is go to the context toolbar and use this baseline slider to move your text on the outside of the pad. For the final touch, let's triple click this text to select it, replace the font with the Robinson font from Envato Elements and lower the tracking to 50%. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job, subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. 
If you are looking to learn even more, you can always check out some of the many tutorials that Envato Task Plus has to offer. I'm Andre Marius and I'll see you in the next video.